the ESS Meridian, the first interstellar colonization ship sent from Earth to Tau Ceti, a giant ark filled with the best that humanity could offer. Most of the colonists were put in cryogenic hibernation. Only a handful stood watch and continued with the scientific research. Free from the constraints imposed on research on Earth, they developed many wonderful technologies. They even conquered death itself. They learned how to create life and turned themselves into monsters. The reign of terror and mad science on board the ship ended when one brave soldier, himself a part of another mad experiment, managed to break free and kill Professor Wagner. In a just universe, that soldier would be a hero. But we're not living in a just universe. And the worst neural damage is patched, Doctor. Good. Activate the visual cortex. Leave the rest of the brain blocked for now. Are you sure it's worth it, Doctor? The orders said... Stop it. I already told you that the extermination orders won't apply to this subject. Okay. Follow the light with your eyes. Now to the left. And to the right. Good. Put the whole brain to sleep. What? Who? I'm up here. Stand up. Oh no. You're bleeding. Just a bit. You have to use the medichamber. Get in. First you're gonna tell me what the hell is going on. There's no time for questions. We have to move fast. Been there, done that. It sucked. If you stay, they'll lock you down for experiment. Now, now like me. But I managed to hack down the medbot and woke you up. I can't give you orders, but I know how to get out. So I suggest we cooperate. Disable the lasers blocking the hallway. The terminal should accept your fingerprint now. What killed him? I did. He was standing too close to a power conduit from the laser blockade. Get his weapon. You'll need it. Sector C labs. Access good. Now you have to go and turn on the main generator to this level.
for this complication, but there's no other way. What are you sorry for? All the Woken soldiers are coming for us right now. I had to find a way to keep them busy. So I've short-circuited the containment system and let those monstrosities out. We'll deal with them later. Now move to the generator. How many damn zombies did you get? A lot. A few hundred. Why the hell? I told you. We need to slow down the soldiers. There's too many of them. You don't seem to have any problems with killing them. And it improved our art.
Doctor. It works now. I've already hacked the door leading out. As soon as you get up here, we can move somewhere safe. Now healing process completed. Okay. Yes, I know. Follow me. That's all you're gonna say? Thanks for letting me out. You're welcome. We're not safe here, so I suggest we get the hell out of here. We should be safe here for now. The soldiers are sure that this part of the ship is empty. Why did they lock you up? We'll talk about that later. Now I have to check you. What? You're Kay Rayner, one of the best prototypes that came out of Meridian Research. You've got both physical and mental modifications and improvements. You're a super soldier, but according to your file, there's something wrong. You're dying. Bullshit. It's a slow but visible process. Your neural network is overloaded. You have more functions than your brain can handle. Bullshit. I feel all right. Right now, yes. But we have to do something about it. Your file says they've deactivated most of your functions. Look, I'll try to unlock one of the basic ones. Pick one. Your mental capacity should improve in time. I'll be checking you regularly. When your mental level improves, I can activate some of your abilities. You're more or less stable for now. How's it going? Who are you? Somebody like you. Another experiment. But we don't have time for this now. I'll tell you all about me later, but I suggest we concentrate on our survival for now. So what happened? 
I remember killing that asshole, Wagner. And with his death, everything changed. Some of the automated system responses that he was blocking were activated. The core of the response military unit was awakened. They contacted the Earth and started to put everything in order, which meant extermination of everything that Wagner had made, including us. They sent a unit to capture you at once. You must have lost your short-term memory when they used paralyzers on you. Including us? Why? I killed Wagner! Because we are the research subjects, and new orders concerning the subjects are exterminate or secure in cryostasis for later assessment. And even if the later assessment didn't mean death for you, removal of all your augmentation would turn you into a blind and possibly mad cripple. If you don't believe me, you can read the orders they have. I've mailed them to your reader. What now? We can't hope to survive against the crew on our own, so I suggest we find some help. I managed to find the location of Minikin's cryo chamber. You have to find him. Okay. Great. I'll connect to the ship network and help you in any way I can. There's an elevator nearby. It should take you down to the storage area. Number 3212 is now being activated manually. Michael Steele, Minikin should be down there somewhere. I'm quite sure it's really him, not one of his clerks. There's more of this guy walking around? He used to be the chief engineer. And also, you are now a restricted and guarded. Please wear your identification visible. Don't worry, there don't seem to be any guards at the moment.
Procedure override. Accepted. Good job. Now get inside and... Damn. They blocked the sensors. Sorry, I didn't see them before. Defreeze process activated. Defreeze complete. Activating subject metabolism. Subject now awake. Checking vital signs. Warning. Abnormal signs detected. Thank you for using ESS Hibernation Services. Michael Steele. We hope you had pleasant dreams. Big fat ugly baby. We must leave. Minikin, no. No science. No more. Yeah, fuck science. Come with me if you want to leave it for the eggheads. Or stay and wait for them. No science. Minikin hurts. You coming or not? Minikin. Minikin trusts. Minikin goes. But Minikin hurts. Someone wanted zombie sushi for the red zombie fish. It was a side project. The original research.
The way back is clear. Now? Move it. I need to unscramble Minikin's brain before the damage gets worse. <laughs> Minikin? No way it could get worse. Congratulations. You've done well. I've patched the damage on Minikin's brain. He's already trying to make himself useful. He's repairing the hollow map of the ship now. He's got something for you. Go talk to him later. The adrenaline surge during the fight helped your brain to adapt. We can activate another of your abilities. Your nerves should be up for it. He suffered a lot of brain damage. His speech centers are hardly functioning. I've stopped further degradation, and he still has his touch when it comes to machines. But don't expect any poetry from him. Do you want to learn something new? Minikin! Okay, welcome here! This gun! You take! Nice. Thanks. So, what are you good for? Minikin engineer! Best engineer! Guns? Upgrade! Gun better! Minikin could! Can upgrade! Minikin can!
Uh, Minikin? You need help? Map no finish. Map need sink. Two people sink. Minikin only one. You go there. Sink terminal. Minikin sink. Map works. Huh? Synchronized? Okay, I'll go smash some buttons. Good. Good. Works. Great. The hollow map will be useful. Are you ready for the next job? You and Minikin will go find Dr. Bielik. Why? You will need Bielik to survive. He's a scientist, geneticist, and biologist. He used to work with Wagner. Fuck. I don't like it. Bielik tried to keep Wagner sane and stood up against him in the end. He managed to escape just in time when Wagner gave the order to eliminate him. And now he's on the run from the soldiers. Okay. Where is he? He contacted me by himself when he heard that we've escaped. He's on the other side of the ship, but you can take the jet lift and be there in a few minutes. Let's go then. Go check the hollow map. You can start the mission there. Go fast! Fast! Danger here! Yeah, I see. Someone's having fun here. This area is guarded by some security drones. Anything moving without a correct IFF code is a valid target for them. Help! Help door now! Longer than I expected. You'll have to patch the power line to the train and fire up the generators. No power. We no go. The backup generators are in a room one floor below you. You go generate. Minikin waits power.
Trainee, Minikin good. All aboard! Waking up. Russell. Told you he's gonna make it. Yes, yes. The Delta 13 are hard to kill. Even without our augmentations. Welcome back among the living. This is Dr. Bielik, our local genius. He and Medibot have put you back together. Your body is working now. You can stand up and walk around a bit. Hey, Raynor. Nice little lab, don't you think? Not as good as the one I used to have, but I can still do some serious work on cloning and implants. I even have a complete tool set for the power armor service here. Good. I used to work with experiment your body most right now. I have a... We were doing a lot of research with Professor Wagner. I'm now trying to use the experimental results for practical solutions. From your simplified soldier's point of view, I can help you with your power armor and with your implants. We developed several revolutionary technologies to improve the human body. Then came the dead effect discovery, and the progress was accelerated. But Wagner started to use the prototypes on himself. I think the side effects were the reason why he went mad. They tried to keep him sane, which made me a threat to his madness. I had to hide. Wagner went mad. Completely. He was paranoid and wanted to kill me. I hate to run and hide. I should have done that sooner. But I thought I could keep him sane. Stop him from doing the worst. I failed. The research took a long time. 
It was a shot in the dark at first. Fast cloning seemed like a discovery of the century. We found a way to quickly and efficiently create new human tissue of any type. But we couldn't make a whole functional human body. Then, Wagner found the way to jumpstart the bodies. To give them life. Raising the dead. Wagner called it the dead effect. Maybe you can tell me. Who the hell is Danette, anyway? Oh, this is a rather sensitive question. She didn't tell you anything about herself? Nope. So I'm asking you. It's personal. I do know a bit about her. But you will have to ask her yourself. I'm rather limited here. I need access to some resources. I especially miss nanocrystals. The net uploaded the information to the map terminal. Check it there. Nanocrystals are computronium blocks, smaller than most organic cells. They're actually the basis for the dead effect. If we get enough, I could make you some really impressive enhancements. I'm sure I have something that will fit you. Four timer. Good. Huh. That's... Huh? What do you mean? No, the standard interface works. But the access to your abilities and special systems is locked to a single user. The net. I'll ask her about it. Everything all right? Bielik said something about you locking my abilities? Well, yes, of course I had to lock access. Your neural network is barely holding up, remember? If I left access fully unlocked, there might be interference and feedback loops with implants and equipment. If Bielik will need it for some upgrade later, he can just ask me. And frankly, it might be better if he doesn't have full access to your brain without my supervision. Don't you think? I think we can trust him, but... Makes sense. You almost didn't make it. We didn't expect the soldiers there. You were shot up to pieces. But Minikin pulled you away and activated the jet lift. What's the plan now? I've blocked the comlinks in the ship. ESS Meridian is a giant colony ship. They're not going to find us easily without working locators. And we can start working on the takeover of the ship. Take over the ship? Ballsy. I like it. We were supposed to be a colonization mission, but a lot of things happened. The rest of the crew is trying to keep order and wait for the military ships that were sent from Earth. So I guess we have to fight the soldiers, right? I'm afraid there's no way but to fight. They have strict orders and they'll do their best. So they'll try to kill us together with other prototypes and various clones moving around the ship. When the relief squadron sent after us arrives, they'll clean the ship quickly. Dr. Yevgeny Bielik is a great surgeon and geneticist. I'm glad he decided to join us. His help could be invaluable. Soldiers have orders to arrest him, so I think we can trust him. We're still trying to heal all the damage on Minikin's brain, but he learned to live with it. He's got a workshop here and he's doing whatever he can. Talk to him. I'm currently focusing on improving our base. Good. I need some rest. There's always something to do. Looking for spares and other resources. Check the holo map. I've uploaded some of the things we need. What do you want to learn now?
This corridor should lead to the nanocrystal laboratory. The sensors are reporting activity in the area around the lab. Maybe they run.
three nanocrystal molecular assembler on. Nanocrystal are stored as basic parts for security reasons. The molecular assembler is now preparing nanocrystals for active use. It will take some time. Signature, but his face is really ugly. I see. It must be Wagner's security failsafe against the theft. Hey, you! Ugly! I'm stealing a crystal! Come and do something about it! Ah! Ah! 